Good morning, this is Daniel Paladin with Christian Adventure Gamer. I'm here at Gray Ridge Games with Mike. and He's gonna show us the Weirwood Manor. So Weirwood Manor is a co-op game for one to five players. Uh, you play in a world called Weirwood Manor and that's represented the manor by this board down here. The board's ruled over by Lady Weirdwood and you play one of six different characters in the game and you battle against one of three different monsters in the game. Each monster operates differently with their own board, their own set of uh, AI driven cards and you're trying to defeat the monster before time runs out in the game so there's a temporal mechanic to the game. Uh, the game starts at day number one in the morning and as the players play the game on each player's turn everyone has a hand of cards and essentially all you're doing is simply playing a single card to take an action on your turn. You have to play a card to one of the open slots in your player board and these are key to the times of day, so morning, afternoon, evening, night. So if you play it to the afternoon before you resolve the actions on your card, you have to update the time on the board to represent when you're doing that in the game world. And so in the case of the afternoon, I'd come here and I'd have to update this to somewhere in the afternoon, to one of these slots in the afternoon. The players keep playing like that, so as time progresses in the game, this keeps moving around as they keep continuing to play cards. And when it comes back around to the next day, we go into day number two. And so the players end up having 12 days in game time to win the game. Uh, the other factor in terms of these rings rotating is they all have openings on them at different spots. And so as they change position, it changes what rooms the players can get in in up oh, wow. into and the different pathways they can pursue the monster and his little minions, clockwork scared minions of the game. Oh wow. And so it continues to go around, the players play the game, it has this light RPG feel to it, your characters improve, you can get companions, recruit companions, you forge different battle dice by paying a cost, it's a, it's a dice driven battle system. And the players get more powerful, the monster gets more powerful, he'll start to move around the board. He may spawn more scarabs on the board. These little scarabs, anytime there's two or more in a room, they blight the room. The players have to flip it over and they, they lose that particular room oh, action wow. for the game. And so these rooms, obviously, they can flip, but they can also switch positions during the game. And that offers variable setup from play to play. And if the players can defeat the particular monster before they run out of time or before some other loss mechanics that are specific to each monster, they win the game. Okay. Yeah. And so where can people find this game? So we are going to be coming to Kickstarter in the spring of next year. Okay. Uh, we've been developing the game for two years now. Um, and we plan over the next six to eight months trying to show it off everywhere we can. So we're going to a lot of cons. We'll be at Essen. We'll be at Shucks in Vancouver. Um, we are working on tabletop simulator version, which we hope to have online before the end of the year. So people have some time to try it out before we get to the Kickstarter. Awesome. Tour. Yeah. Awesome. And so, is there a way for people to sign up to get like a newsletter? Yeah, grayridgegames.com. Okay. You can sign up for a newsletter and find a lot more information um, from there. And uh, we've got a YouTube series we've been filming as well about making the game as well. So oh, wow. You All can right. check that out too. Yeah. Awesome, I will. And hopefully yeah. my viewers will as well. Right on. All right, well, thank you for your time. Thank you, Daniel.